Earlier in this domain, we learned about the holiday Diwali. Diwali is an important Hindu holiday that means festival of lights. We learned that during the festival of lights, people light lamps, candles, or display electric lights, spend time with their family and friends, send card to relatives, and give gifts to one another. The lights in Diwali symbolize the goodness in other people that shines over evil. Today, we are going to be learning about an important holiday that originated or started in China. Banished. Banished means sent or driven away. For example, the good king banished the wicked pirate for stealing his ships. Grudges. Grudges are bad feelings held against one or more people who have do done something wrong to you. Even though her brothers apologized, Camilla was still holding grudges instead of forgiving them. Adhering. Adhering means following or holding on to. Adhering to new rules in a game can be difficult if you are used to playing by old rules. Prosperous. Prosperous means having good fortune or success. For example, Juan's new construction business had a prosperous first year. In the word prosperous, there is an ending, O-U-S. These three letters can be added to the end of, the word, of a word as a suffix to change the meaning of the word. The suffix O-U-S means full of. So famous means full of fame. Courageous means full of courage. I'm going to say a word. I want you to think about the word that you hear before the us ending, the O-U-S ending, to help you figure out what the word means. Our first word is joyous. What do you think joyous means? If something is joyous, it's full of joy. What about poisonous? Poisonous means full of poison. What about adventurous? Adventurous means full of adventure. And our last one, spacious. Spacious means full of space. Woo! Pop! Woo! Pop! The air crackles as fiery bursts of color illuminate the night sky. Sparks fly. Red, green, yellow, blue. Eyes are glued to the night sky above as fireworks splinter the darkness. It is the beginning of Chinese New Year. In the United States, we celebrate New Year's Day on the same day every year. What day is that? That's right, it's on the first day of January. But in China, the calendar is based on the cycles of the moon. Because of this, the Chinese New Year does not always fall on the same day every year on the calendar that we use in the United States. The new year in China begins with a new moon, and the start date ranges from the end of January to the middle of February. A new moon is when you can't see the moon in the sky at all. Unlike New Year celebrations in the United States, Chinese New Year celebrations last for two whole weeks. The celebration of the Chinese New Year, the longest and most important of all Chinese festivals, can be traced all the way back to the time of Confucius. For centuries, Chinese people have cleaned their houses from top to bottom in the days before the festival, bought new clothes, prepared special foods, and wished each other good fortune at the beginning of each new calendar year. These customs are continued even today. The celebration begins with fireworks displays on New Year's Eve which are believed to scare away evil spirits and are followed by other age-old traditions. Children are allowed to stay up on New Year's Eve, adhering to a traditional belief that each extra wake wakeful hour will add years onto their parents' lives. 
feasting on fish, pork, poultry, tangerines, oranges, dumplings, and special cakes, families gather to wish each other good luck. Take a minute to think about how you celebrate New Year's. Are any of these traditions similar to your to traditions that you have in your New Year celebration? Luck and good fortune are common themes for the Chinese New Year. The color red, thought to be a sign of good fortune and happiness, is the color chosen to wear during the festivities. Homes are decorated with red paper cut into designs, and happy wishes written on red paper are also hung throughout the house. Children and unmarried adults often receive red envelopes, with money tucked inside. The people who receive these envelopes are also supposed to receive good fortune in the new year. Dragons are symbols of good luck in Chinese culture, and lions symbolize chasing evil away and bringing good luck. During New Year celebrations, people dress up in red dragon costumes and parade and dance in the streets. Red is often the most popular color for dragons, making them especially lucky. The main focus of the two weeks of New Year celebrations is to prepare for a, pro a prosperous year ahead. Remember, prosperous means to have good fortune or enough money for the things that you need. So people are preparing for a year of financial success. People believe that evil spirits are scared off by fireworks and banished from homes as every inch of every room is scrubbed clean. New clothes and haircuts give people a sense of fresh, new beginnings. People forgive one another for past grudges, agreeing to put their disagreements behind them. Some people visit temples to give thanks and pray for good times ahead. Friends and families everywhere enjoy relaxing together. At the end of the first week, on the seventh day of celebrations, everyone has a birthday. The Chinese celebrate everyone's birthday on that day, rather than on the day on which each person was born. In China, time is measured differently than it is in the United States. Their traditional calendar is called a lunar calendar. A lunar calendar is based on the cycles of the moon. The new year begins with the appearance of a new moon. Each year is named for a particular animal rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, rooster, dog, and boar. A boar is a pig. According to Chinese legend, when the Buddha was dying, he called all of the animals in the kingdom to his side. Remind me again, who was the Buddha? he founded the religion Buddhism. Only 12 animals came when the Buddha called. As a reward for their loyalty to him, the Buddha named a year after each of these 12 animals. So each new year marks the start of the next animal year. Once we reach the end of the list of animals, the year of the boar or pig, the cycle begins all over again with the year of the rat. On the 15th day of the Chinese New Year, when the moon is full, the lucky dragon or lion leads parades all across China. Up to 50 people fit inside large cloth dragons, stretching the length of a city block, bobbing and weaving their way through the streets. Cloth lions, also symbolizing power and luck, nod their paper mache heads in time to the drumming and music. So which two animals symbolize luck to the Chinese people? You've got it, it's dragons and lions. Fenders sell dumplings, sticky rice balls stuffed with sweet and salty fill fillings to the throngs of people in the streets. The 15th day of the Chinese New Year is the day of the Lantern Festival, when thousands of color colorful lanterns, large and small, cover the marketplace. Some people spend an entire year designing lanterns for competitions held that day. 
Others write riddles and post them on their lanterns for a popular guessing game. When the light of the lanterns mingles with the light of the moon on this final day of celebrations, there is joy and hope for the year ahead. In the read aloud, we heard, the celebration begins with fireworks displays on New Year's Eve, which are believed to scare away evil spirits and are followed by other age old traditions. Traditions are things that have been done for a long period of time by a group of people. One of my family's favorite traditions is to watch fireworks on the 4th of July. Turn to whoever is helping you today and tell them about a tradition that you have. All right, my friends, as always, I have a couple questions for you about what we just learned about. Today we learned about Chinese New Year. Does Chinese New Year fall, fall on the same day that New Year's falls here in the United States? No, it doesn't. In the United States, New Year's is always on the same day, the 1st of January. Chinese New Year is based on the cycles of the moon. We talked about another special holiday that is based on the cycles of the moon earlier in this domain. Do you remember what that holiday was? It was the Festival of Lights or the Hindu holiday Diwali. Diwali is also celebrated based on the cycles of the moon. Chinese New Year usually falls at the end of January or the beginning of February. What do people do to prepare for New Year in China, for Chinese New Year? What, do, what are some things that people do? There are a lot of things you could have said to answer that one. People will clean their homes, they'll get haircuts, they write letters to loved ones, they let go of grudges or bad feelings, they set off fireworks, and children get to stay up late just like they do in American New Year. All right, why do they set off those fireworks? What do they believe that the fireworks will do? The fireworks are set off to banish evil spirits. What do people celebrate and hope for during Chinese New Year celebrations? What do they hope for and celebrate? hoping for and celebrating prosperity, good fortune, and luck. We talked about some colors that represent luck. What's, and some symbols too. What symbols of good luck are displayed during the Chinese New Year? The color that represents luck is red, and the symbol or animal that represents luck is the dragon. During Chinese New Year celebrations, you'll see a lot of red dragons. All right, when do Chinese people typically celebrate their birthdays? When do the Chinese usually celebrate their birthdays? You're right, it's a little bit different than how we celebrate birthdays in America. The Chinese celebrate everyone's birthday on Chinese New Year. So it's a huge celebration of not just the new year, but of everyone's birthday too. All right, our last question. I want you to turn to your neighbor or grandpa or whoever is there with you helping you today. I want you to tell them about an activity that you heard about that are a part of the new Chinese New Year celebration. Tell them about one of the activities that are part of the Chinese New Year celebrations that we learned about today. When you are done talking to whoever is there helping you, we have got one more thing to do. I'm going to have you open the PDF that's attached to this assignment. I'm going to jump over to my computer so I, can, so I can show you what to do with it. We have now learned about two different holidays. We learned about Diwali. On this page, we have a picture of a woman holding candles representing Diwali. And today we learned about Chinese New Year. The picture of the dragon 
represents Chinese New Year, as dragons are a sign of good luck. I'm going to read some sentences, and I want you to tell whoever is helping you today if the sentence I say describes, uh, describes Diwali or describes Chinese New Year. My first sentence is, this holiday began in India. Which holiday is that? You got it, it is Diwali. Okay, this holiday began in China. Oh, you guys are good, that one is Chinese New Year. This holiday is also known as the Festival of Lights. Yes, that holiday is Diwali. The color red is associated with this holiday. That one is Chinese New Year. Okay, last one. During this holiday, people spend time with their family and friends and give each other gifts. That one is tricky. That one is both Diwali and Chinese New Year. All right, my friends, there is no assignment for you to turn in today. So when you are finished with this video, you are done with knowledge today.